Hi everybody, it's Beth Budesheim. For those of you who are new to this group, welcome. So I wanted to do a little thing with you here today um, around the heart and the heart energy. <clears throat> but to begin, let's do our invocation where we connect with our higher self and higher energies and bring that down into an embodied space. <clears throat> so beginning, <clears throat> sorry, beginning with the hands at the heart, take a deep breath. Just coming here, right here, right now. Another deep breath. And as you exhale, allowing the hands to come down and inhaling up above the head, connecting in with those upper chakras, higher chakras, higher self. And imagine you're bringing that down into the crown chakra, third eye. throat chakra, heart, heart chakra, solar plexus chakra, and then allowing your palms to rest down over the second chakra, continuing bringing that down into the second chakra, And then imagining that down into the earth, going to your root chakra, connecting down into the center of the earth. And then keeping your consciousness down with the earth Allow your palms to rise back up and meet at the heart in prayer position. And I want to add something in for us today. So with your hands at the prayer, <clears throat> let's do this one more time. Allowing your hands to drop down up, rising above the head, connecting with higher self, with source energy, with your divine essence. And as you bring that down, meeting at the crown chakra, and say inwardly or out loud, I am here. I am here. And at the third eye, I am here. at the throat, I am here. At the heart chakra, I am here. I am here. Really feel the presence of that I am here in each chakra. I am here. Solar plexus, I am here. I am here. And the second chakra. I am here. I am here. And down <clears throat> to the root chakra. I am here. and allowing your consciousness down into the earth. I am here. And then allowing your hands to float back and meet it prayer at the heart. Great. So each chakra has a little bit of a different quality. So when you affirm, I am here, at each chakra, there's a different quality of presence that you're bringing forth that becomes more here, that chakra in you, who you are through that chakra and the gifts of that chakra. We're affirming that 
you are here, that then that those qualities, that it becomes more present through that affirmation. So another thing I wanted to work on with you today, <clears throat> and if you have any questions about any of that, just let me know. Um, and do that on your own a couple times, see how it feels and what you notice. What you notice at each chakra, and is there a chakra where you feel less able to be here, where that doesn't seem quite as true as maybe another chakra, and pay attention to that. So another thing I wanted to work on with you today was with the heart energy. So, um, you know, the heart, it's a lot easier for the, sorry, I got something in my eye. It's a lot easier for the heart energy to become quiet than for our mind. You know, our minds can very easily stay busy and active and get on this constant um, inner talk. But our hearts sometimes can very subtly just go quiet and then we realize, oh, you know, what's going on with my heart? What's my heart saying? It's, it's not as pushy as the mind. <laughs> it, it, uh, it can go quiet without us noticing it. So I want to connect with the heart energy today and spend some time with it and give it our attention and know that we want its voice. We want to hear what it has to say and we want its presence in our life. So this is going to balance, help balance that mental energy um, so heart and mind can work together. <clears throat> we don't want to forget about the heart. So let's take a minute um, and actually connect with your physical heart. So just close your eyes and place your hands over your heart, your physical heart, on the left side of your body. Maybe even become aware of its beating. And just take some nice gentle breaths into the heart. Sending it its mes a message that we want to acknowledge it, acknowledge our heart, give it our presence, and that we honor and value its wisdom and what it might share with us. <clears throat> You can also experiment with different hand positions, putting the other hand on top now and seeing how that feels. And just honoring your heart. We're not pressuring it to give us a message or do anything. The heart doesn't work that way. It, it needs a different kind of approach. So at this moment, we're just telling it, sharing with it how deep that we value and want its presence. and that we look forward to the wisdom, insight, messages and guidance that it may share with us today and, and this day forward. Take another deep breath, giving thanks and gratitude <clears throat> for all the ways the heart has guided us all the times we felt its <clears throat> felt its presence and honored its wisdom and benefited from its its wisdom so giving thanks taking another deep breath and slowly just coming 
back here into a different space, still connected, but moving into something I want to talk to you about um, as a exercise today. <clears throat> so one way to start stirring and warming the heart and awakening its presence and opening to its wisdom and guidance is to um, do things like take a, a random act of kindness like how could what could you do today that would be kind and loving um, to someone in your world it could be a stranger or someone you know or even thinking about what might I do today that would be kind to my partner so even as we say this maybe you feel the heart kind of awakening kind of coming to attention the heart loves that sort of uh, activity so that's one way we can start to open the heart come out of the mind quiet the mind and come from and live from um, a space of the heart so play with that today um, let me know how it goes and that's what I wanted to share with you today. Let me know if you have any comments or um, anything you want to share about that. And we'll close now just by you know giving thanks to each other for your presence 